we all going in such a hurry? The pace and scope of human activity has given rise to a society that is almost bewildering in its complexity. Our flair for innovation and exploration has delivered dazzling success, but has brought consequences that may now threaten our very existence. Many try to predict our future path, but most disagree about what it should be. Didier Sornet uses the tools of science to model complex systems. The author of several books and hundreds of papers, Professor Sornet makes forecasts about events as diverse as earthquakes and stock market crashes. Euronews met Didier Sornet at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Zurich, where he teaches the science of risk assessment. We are facing some difficult challenges this century. We've got diminishing fossil fuel supplies, uh, rapid climate change. But is it all bad news? Are there positive things that are going to come out of these challenges? Well, I think so. Uh, mankind has shown in the past a remarkable ability to confront uh, difficulties. I think that humans are at, the, are at their best when you know, they have a challenge to, to grasp, to, to, to attack. So I see these, these challenges ahead of us as an opportunity to maybe evolve to another level of conscience, maybe to cooperate. I mean, we are very good at facing a common enemy. So if we are able to cooperate and to face this challenge, we can really evolve to a new level of conscience. So that's a great opportunity, I think. To change, to encourage change. Yeah, to encourage change. And of course, the, humans have this bad habit also of refusing change, to be forced to change when, you know, with a kind of gun in the back or confronted by, by great difficulties. But once there is a tipping point that is rich, then we show great uh, adapt adaptativity. We have to change our way of behaving. Probably, yeah. And we will be forced to do it. And we see signs about, for example, the oil price and so on. Yeah. We are going to be forced by the scarcity of the resources right. to, uh, to evolve. And this would be a good thing, I think. The changes that we're seeing now, the, 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 the rise in the price of oil, etc., the um, reduction in uh, fossil fuel supplies, um, are these just the beginning? Are they going to accelerate? You've said they are. There's going to be a regime change. I mean, you say this is not necessarily catastrophic, yeah. but it certainly sounds yeah. catastrophic. Yeah, it is bad at the short time scale, if you like, in the sense that it's, would be, it's already forcing us to think about alternatives, of changing our style of life. It's true that if you live in L.A., Los Angeles, California, where everything has been built around um, the tradition of cars, of driving, Every, you can't walk, you have to, to need this mode of transportation, then indeed you have to have creative ways of solving the problem of not using cars anymore. So um, you have to adapt, and adaptation is always costly initially. But this is an initial investment for a, probably a better uh, evolution in the future. I'm going to ask you now to give me some predictions for 2050, where you say well, it might be a big tipping point. Fossil fuels will be... Well, it may, fossil fuels by then may be too expensive to burn, in fact. Um, global population will be, I think, around about 8 to 9 billion, 2 or 3 billion more than they are now. Um, there will be water shortages. Are we going to get through this? <laughs> in chapter 10 of my book, Why Stock Market Crash, I envision three scenarios, three big possibilities. Let me start with the worst one. <laughs> Worst one is we fight for the resources. We have islands of gated communities of very rich, wealthy people uh, protected by armies and barbarians roaming. It would be like the scenario of Mad, Ma or Mad Max in Australia, <laughs> for mm. example. I mean, you can imagine this kind of science fiction scenario and that's a serious possibility. Another possible scenario is a transi smooth transition to sustainability. And I, I am hoping that this could be the middle way, middle scenario, that due to the building up of a global conscience, we learn how to cooperate, how to put aside a bit our innate selfishness and um, know how to uh, take pleasure in helping others in um, developing ethical behavior in integrity so that we look at the longer term 
So that could be a middle scenario. That could be a, 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 a quite good one. Now, another one, uh, if we are more optimistic, there could be a lucky, uh, or some lucky uh, evidence, like fundamental discoveries. I mean, this could be the, like the joker. We could, for example, invent new ways of transportation to other planets. So there could be a possibility of evolving to new continents, would be new planets, or also breaking down the bottleneck to uh, invade the oceans. That's a joker. That's a possibility. Mm. That's why people should finance more science, <laughs> because there is really, and it's a very risky, we cannot predict what will happen, mm. but there is this possibility. I would not bet all my money on this, of course. I would go through uh, to the sustainability uh, path, but there is this uh, golden egg, this possibility of uh, very surprising outcomes. Mm.